it's been a very challenging time and it's a learning process that we are all going through. Um, right now with the Omicron, what members are telling us, and we have experienced it at the chamber because it's it spreads like wildfire. Fortunately for us, we are 100% vaccinated. However, it doesn't stop us from getting COVID. And we've had a few of our staff members who have um, gotten COVID and so I can tell you from our experience, and I know that's what our members are also telling us that they're experiencing. So an employee has a, a symptom, they go and they get tested, and that's responsible. I think though, we've had an instance where an employee has gone and gotten tested on the 22nd of December or 23rd of December and has gotten the time off or the wait for the results is until the 4th of January. So in the meantime, the the employer has to pay the 20 person for that employee that Social Security doesn't pick up, as well as pay somebody else to fill that slot that that employee has left. Um, for the most part, employees who can work from home, I, most employers are having that done, that employees work from home. But I think that there has to be, we have to relearn how the work environment is as employers and as employees. And a lot of it because of the, um, I guess we have to develop some kind of technical support where we are able to see how the employee is progressing because we know that there is abuse of the system uh, from both angles, I'm not taking any sides here, but there is abuse of the system. So as much as possible, we have to be able to uh, mitigate that abuse.